Oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> As things. Very, very good. How are you guys? Good. good. Yeah, how, very good. How, how is the, it's uh, Monday at your, you're ahead of us, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still Sunday there. Uh, no, it's it's Monday, Monday, but you know, in in uh, America, it's almost uh, it's almost still Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Monday yeah. night, so we just taught our Zoom class and yeah. yeah. Where do you live? Uh, I live Where in you... uh, mid. On, I'm on GMT plus one, so I live in Oslo. Ah, nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, how is it there? What's that? Is a uh, jiu-jitsu jiu gyms open there, or they're not? They're closed, or they're probably going to be closed for the rest of the year, which is horrible because yeah. many gyms are probably going to be bankrupt at that time. So it's it's really yeah, awful. Yeah. And that's yeah. not like they're not forced to close. They're just um... they're forced to close. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm slow. Oh you no! Yeah, me. sorry. Yeah, geez, I'm losing my geography. <laughs> terrible at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it makes me it makes me think that. Uh, if if many gyms had been more proactive in uh, focusing on uh, mobility and flexibility and you know self training they would probably stand a chance in times like these but if all you have is is competition sparring and that goes out the window you're kind of standing on one leg as a figure of speech so i i really hope that this is like a a, a light goes up for many gym owners that when they survive this uh, this uh, pandemic that they come out and realize that jiu-jitsu is not only about uh, fighting each other, it's as much focusing on your own development. You guys know that because I've seen you training a lot of yoga on both on YouTube, yeah. on my website and several <laughs> different places. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so I mean, uh, for me, um, I, I mean, even with the with the goal of it being for jiu-jitsu performance, but um, I probably the last um, year or two, I've kind of, started trying to get more flexible. Um, but I think uh, without, without that being such a, um, you know, it was kind of a side goal while I'm training, if that makes sense. Like I wasn't putting a, a lot of time into it. Um, and, but since the, this whole COVID thing, I kind of thought, well, what can I put more effort into? And, and one of the things that I thought I could make a big difference is, is, is my flexibility. And it seemed, you know, I've been enjoying it, doing yoga and, yeah. and stretches and, and, feel like it's something that can improve my jiu-jitsu like as you know when i come back i'll i will have uh, a greater ability to do techniques because that my body will move that way easier mm. um, um and also it's just a good way to keep but for me it's been a good way to keep fit and healthy and you know, keep some you know i'm rolling with live as well um nice. but i can't always roll my hardest so it's nice to, <laughs> to do some other exercise as well to... <laughs> i'm pretty much easier than yoga a lot of What's that? I'm easier than yoga for Lockie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. I, just quickly, I, I, uh, I, I'll just confirm that you're a, you're a high-level physiotherapist, right, Lucky? Yeah. Well, yeah, we're both physiotherapists. Um, oh, you are? Okay, uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I've got my, yeah, I did my PhD as well, but I'm not doing too much physiotherapy work right now, mostly just... Okay. Um, but you, just, then you both had the cognitive, uh, uh, nerdy kind of approach to jiu-jitsu. But how yeah, is yeah. it different from from this uh, from yoga? Because yoga, you can't really think about it. It doesn't really help to think about it. it. You have to be completely present in your muscles and your body. How is that different for for both of you? It's been kind of. I was, before yeah. I was a. Um, I did jiu-jitsu. I actually did gymnastics for twelve years. So it's um, it's nice to do yoga now like not like just for health benefits like just from years of abusing my body my my hips and my back and my elbows are kind of not very healthy so it's nice to do it and not necessarily think through every single position like being right. physiologically i don't know i just kind of it, it's a bit more like meditation and and holding the poses which i find really difficult um yeah, yeah no it's been yeah. i mean I've, been, I've enjoyed it i still yeah, for me, if I can, I'd rather roll, but... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But in my experience, rolling always takes its toll. 
yeah, the, rest, sure. the rest of the day is changed forever in a good way in your head and in a bad way in your, in your body. But what I really like about yoga is that you can have a really good day. It's like taking the, the, the only drug in the world without any side effects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to try something impossible today, uh, but I love big challenges, especially those you, you, that are really impossible. I'm going to try to satisfy two absolute extreme nerds, which has like nobody can relate to you, like super high level okay. physiotherapists, ex-gymnasts, world champions. Uh, you need one type of thing. And what I'm going to try to do is give that to you as well as satisfy the people who are joining uh, for just a yeah. yoga class on Instagram. Uh, and I've, I've prepared this class really well. I'm going to try to nail it with the poses and not fuck up the right side and left side and stuff like that. So if you're ready, let's start. Yeah. Just a warning, just because I'm, well, we're both, we're both good at jujitsu. It doesn't mean we're going to look good when we do. Yeah, we're not no, 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 that's true. That's true. But, but you need a, you need a challenge. And I, I asked you before, if you want a, a rare medium or a deep fried and you said medium. So this is a medium to deep fried uh, yoga class. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Can you hear me well from here? Yes. Okay. I'm going to crank up the volume so that I can hear you too. All right. So, stand, uh, find a, a good place to stand. Uh, lift one foot off the floor. Just cover it one centimeter off the floor. Hands on hips. And then do hip circles, just like you would with two feet on the floor. But now one foot is hovering in place. <clears throat> and then switching directions, stay on the same foot. And this is, of course, done in your rhythm. You don't have to follow my rhythm. Just find a nice rhythm for you. And then uh, I'm going to turn around so you can see my hips. Put your, uh, stick your butt out behind you and tilt your hips and go down into the knees. Keep your foot okay. where it is. My foot should be next to your other foot. Yeah, and then straighten up. So you see that? Keep times. So, so you're, you're untucking, you're tucking and untucking the hips and going down with your feet together, but you're standing on one foot. Yeah, so this is just to train, train you to, to be, to use your hips in the in one extreme and the other extreme without straining your back, okay? Now cross your ankles so the right foot is in front. Now fold forward and place your hands either on your knee or your, or your shins in the ground. <laughs> and take a few breaths where you drop your head and relax. So the theme of, of today is hips. Uh, and what many people don't think about is that you don't necessarily just want uh, soft and flexible hips. You want even hips because we have a bunch of different muscles groups in the hips. And in Jiu-Jitsu, we're usually using a couple of those groups more than others and definitely more on one side than the other side. So we're going to try to balance that out. Come all the way up. Stand on your right foot, left foot off the ground, hip circles. Repeating this sequence on side number two. And if you're, for those of you watching, if you haven't done yoga before and you jump into this, then first of all, brave of you. And then if you hold your breath, you make it three times as hard. So if you try to breathe while you're doing this, it's going to feel a lot less excruciating. Cross your left foot over your right foot so that your pinky toes are touching. And then fold forward and stop at 90 degrees or slide deeper. We will work stability uh, of the hips, stretch them a little bit, but also work the lower spine and the legs because uh, you have to be a, a physiotherapist to know that the legs and the lower back is connected to the hips. So if you're stiff in the back and stiff in the legs, your hips are weak. Okay. All right, take another breath and then let's start to flow by standing up. Keep standing on your left leg now, so lift your right leg. Without grabbing the ankle, place the foot on the inside of your thigh. 
and then squeeze the thigh and foot together so you're in uh, the yoga tree pose. And then right forearm to the knee and then side stretch. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> so <I> like <laughs> I'm happy that this one, I'm actually cheating. I'm cheating and holding on to the stool. That's why I'm so stable. <laughs> And then uh, keep your leg there, but switch sides. So your right arm goes over a side stretch on the other side. Take another breath. And now hover, hover, hover the right foot over the ground again. Stand up, hands in front of your chest. And then let's do the one we did before. Fall down deep, release, and stand up again. Let's do that three times. So two more. And last one. And now on this one, stretch your right leg out behind you, a little bend in the next foot, in the next knee, so that you're in warrior three. Right arm out in front of your left arm, guys, so like a superman, superwoman pose. And now Kimura, Americana with your right arm and Kimura with the left arm. So try to touch your fingers behind the back, even if you can, just try. And then hover the hands over the neck and lower back, and go all the way to the other side. So your right arm goes on your back, your left hand goes on your neck, Americana Kimura, and then one full more round, circle the arms, go back to the other side. And now try to touch your right knee to your left calf. Hold here for a second, and then step back into present pose, right foot behind you, right arm up and now put your left hand in your right pocket behind you so the wrist slides over the butt and you try to kind of twist and side stretch and go a little bit deeper so this is a high punch with a twist and a side stretch are you surviving <laughs> good this is the warm-up so so Right oh, knee <laughs> <laughs> down, grab on with your left hand to your right foot. So try to grab your right foot with your left hand. Oh, what's delicious. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's it. And now place your right hand on the ground and kind of wiggle out so that you're in a deep lunge where you're grabbing foot. So listen, down. Yes. I'm actually going to move up a bit closer so that you can see. Better what I'm doing. Okay. Take another breath here. You can move around a little bit. If it's too much to be static, just move around. And now all the way into your back knee. Flex the left foot so that you're standing on one knee with a straight leg. Flex the foot, the arms up, inhale. And then exhale on your fingertips, point your toes and lift the foot off the ground. Uh, repeat that. Flex the foot, inhale. Exhale, point the lift. One more, inhale. Exhale, point the lift. Without placing the foot in the ground, try to lift the foot, lift the back knee, and lift the left foot back behind you into a three leg dog without touching the ground. Yeah, nice. Take a breath and down low. And roll the knee to your chest, plank pose. Look, look to end, left knee towards your chest. Yeah, and then kick the left foot out under you so that you're turning to the right, lifting the right arm. It's kind of like a side plank. Yeah, so you're, you're looking towards the right. Left foot to the right. Look right. Yeah. Getting sweaty. Lucky when we are the Stay inside plank, cross your ankles. And turn back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to talk about it. And then back to plank, cross your ankles. <laughs> down from plank all the way down to your belly. 
prop, your, prop yourself up on your elbows and take a couple of breaths in a back bend on your belly. Cross your ankles so that you're squeezing your legs and butt. That kind of protects your lower back from arching too far back. And then just puff up your chest and take a breath. <laughs> Hands in the ground, toes in the ground, keep your legs crossed, push up, back to dog with crossed ankles so that your pinky toes are touching and you're in dog. Your right leg, lift your right leg out behind you so now it's high up behind you and drop the left elbow, maybe bend your knee and drop your head and take a couple of breaths here. So it's kind of it's kind of a funky three-legged dog. Straighten both arms. Roll your right knee to your chest and place the foot behind the hands for a standing split. Left leg out behind you. Now we're gonna do some rolling pistols. So look forward and inhale. On your exhale, you need to face and then squat down into a pistol. Yeah, so sit down in a squat and keep your left leg out in front of you. Left leg out. Yeah. And now lift your butt and return to a standing split. Inhale. Exhale, knee to face. Pistol squat. <laughs> One more round. I can, I can feel your suffering. Inhale. Exhale, left knee through. And sit all the way down to your butt. You're enjoying yourself? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, round your spine a lot. Lean forward with straight arms. In inhale here. And then exhale, lift your uh, legs and point your toes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Lift your chest, inhale. Exhale, lift the toes. Legs down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, lift the legs. Legs down, roll back to upside down guard. And then roll all the way up to a squat. Try to keep the feet wide and parallel, elbows on the inner thighs, and then squeeze your knees into your elbows hard. Keep the legs, keep the legs where they are, and when you go up higher, Push the knees out. So when you go down, squeeze in. And when you go up, push out. So the knees stay in the same position, but you're working completely different muscles when you go up and down. Nice. One more. Hands down, straight legs. Inhale forward. Inhale down. All the way up to standing, starting over in standing. Without using your left hand, foot on your thigh, left hand to knee, side step. You're just going straight for side number two. Take a breath. Are you guys surviving? Sorry? Are you surviving? Yes, yes. Nice, good, good, good. Switching side? Yeah. <laughs> and then hover the left foot over the ground. Hands on hip, inhale, exhale, keep your butt back, keep covering the foot, and do three of those. Tuck the hips, and then stick your butt out and go down. If you can, keep your knees straight too. Nice. Hands in front of the chest, left leg out behind you, warrior three. Left arm out for Superman, Superwoman. Kimura Americana, and then hover the hands, hover the hands over the back and neck, and then switch. So go try, try to touch, try to touch the fingers behind the back, and then lift, and switch again. Left knee to ankle, and step back into pressing toes. Highlight. Right arm to the left pocket. Left arm up for a side stretch here, twist. Yeah. 
Raise one, sit down. Grab the right foot, left foot with the right hand. And then ease yourself into a wrestler lunge and kind of move around, feel all those uh, good, good vibes in your hips. In my experience, it's a lot better to not look down, but kind of do more on a side, side plank position than being here. It usually feels better to me, at least. From here, right leg straight, flex the foot, all the way from the left knee. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, fingertips down, point your feet, and lift. Ooh. Inhale. <laughs> That, what, that one always gets a nice reaction. Lift. Yeah. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Lift. <laughs> lift your butt. Three legged dog. Take a breath. Roll the knee to your chest. And kick your right foot towards the left. You're turning towards the left. For a side plank and split the legs. It's called the fallen triangle in normal language. Go, go to side plank and cross your ankles. Come into a plank with crossed ankles. And lower down. Keep your ankles crossed and do three cobra rolls. Inhale, roll up, and exhale down. Keep your hips and belly in the ground. So just work with your upper back. Keep squeezing the leg. Engage your core and push back to plank. Back to a cross leg dog. Thank you. Lift your left leg up behind you. Drop your right elbow down and stretch. Try to breathe if you can. Arms straight, knee to low. Stand with the right leg out behind you, stand on the left leg. Inhale, stretch, knee to face, exhale, pistol squat. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Sit down on your butt. Same thing as before, but now with split legs. So spread your legs, hands together. Inhale here. Exhale round your spine and lift. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Uh, okay, no, I'll hold you. Nice, roll back. No, sorry. Uh, feet together. I forgot this one, the last one. Uh, reverse plank. Lift your hips, straighten the legs and hips, take three breaths. Nice. Sit down and roll back to upside down guard and then sleep in a squat. Sit up in your foot, feet press the knees, press the knees, and then come up, squeeze the uh, push the knee out, down and in, up and out. One more, squeeze, 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 and push, push, push. Inhale, feet together, halfway up, exhale, float. Rolling all the way up. Come back to standing. All right. Good stuff. We're doing the same sequence again. Now, uh, taking away some talking and adding a little bit more options. So, exact same thing. Right foot up. Do a side stretch. Let's do one inhale and one exhale, which goes more or less. So, just here for a moment and then switching sides. Cover the foot over the ground. Uh, hands in front of your chest. Inhale here. Exhale, go deep with straight legs. 
On the next one, lift the right foot up in front of you. Good. Yeah, kick the right foot up. And then behind you, right arm forward, left arm back. Over here. Switching the arms, bending the back, and then trying to catch your ankle for dancer's pose with the right hand, right ankle. That's it. No, you were right, right angle, right angle, yeah. right hand, right hand. Right hand? Right hand, right angle, yeah. Oh, right angle. Yeah. Oh, you were doing it right. Okay. <laughs> Try to touch the knee to your ankle, and then step back into pressing box. Same, same thing again, twisting, side stretching, hug. Back knee down, grab onto the back foot, and move into lizard stretch. Option here is to drop the right elbow down to the ground and grab your other ankle. So you might be holding on to your left foot as well as your right foot. Take a breath. From here, back to a half split, takes the left foot on up. Exhale, point to the lips. Try to get the knee to your nose. <coughs> Exhale, point to the lift. Nice drum. Inhale. And exhale. Don't place the foot down. Lift your butt. Three legged dog. <laughs> Knee to chest, plank pose. Look towards the right, kick your left leg out. This time, hover the leg off the ground. Like a split right plank with the leg off the ground. Right leg. Cross the ankle, plank pose. Plank pose. Plank, plank. Normal plank, yeah. Plank. <laughs> and, and then lower down. Squeeze the, ankle, squeeze the ankles and lift the legs, and then arms out behind you, skydiver pose. Skydiver with crossed ankles. You're working your back body now, and in one moment you will just release that, engage your front body and do a push up. Back to down dog. Cross, keep your ankles crossed. Yeah, plank pose, keep your ankles crossed. And now, right leg out behind you, bend your knees, open the hips. If you want to try, try to catch your right foot with your left hand. This is not an easy pose. So in dog, try to catch your back leg with your left hand. Yeah, awesome. Really cool. All right. Right foot out behind the hand, so standing splits. This time you can catch onto your ankle, the right foot forward standing splits. Catch onto your ankle with one hand or two hands. And then with or without the hands in the ground, do a pistol squat and grab your other ankle. Yeah. Pistol ankle. Let's do that two more times. Into standing split with or without the hands of your choice. <laughs> One more. Wow. One more. And then sit down on the ground. <laughs> Fingertips in the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your butt. Yeah. Hang on, what position are you? Uh, Stand. Okay. Inhale, exhale. Uh. Inhale, exhale. Uh. And now, inhale, exhale, lift legs. And then, inhale, exhale, lift legs. Up. 
Okay. okay. <coughs> Some feedback from the director. Okay. Last one. Inhale, exhale, lift everything. Happy now. Inhale, exhale, lift everything. Oh. <laughs> Legs is straight. Bend one knee and try to lift as high as you can. So it's a mix between reverse tabletop and reverse plank. Sit down, switching. Other leg bent. Lift and push, lift and push, lift and push. Rolling back and meet in a squat. Going up into a squat. Hands behind the head, squeeze the elbow from the inner thighs, and then stand up and elbows and knees out. So everything, and then down and together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Out and up. Yes, right. One more. Down and squeeze. Lift up. And now fold forward and super slowly bend your knees and roll to standing. Fun times. Let's do it again. Left foot. <laughs> right inner thigh. Side foot to the left. Side stretch to the right. Hover the left foot, hands in front of the chest. Inhale. Exhale, straight leg, straight spine, go deep. Two more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, kick the left foot out in front of you. Whoa. Left leg out, left arm forward. Kimura under Kana. Switching five so that your left hand is back now. Bend your left knee and catch the foot with the hand. Catch the ankle with the hand. And take it. Left hand, left ankle. Left hand, left ankle. Yes, nice. If you can hold on to the foot and touch the knee to your ankle, do so. And then step back to present. Right to the left pocket, deep side stretch. If you're sweating now, you can go deeper. Squeeze yourself a bit deeper. Make even look at your back foot. Left knee down, hold on to the foot. Forward and apply in your own sweat into a little foot grab. Maybe grabbing the other ankle too, if your body says yes. Like you switch the hand, your, your other hand. Yes. 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 Big difference, yeah. So you can be high or you can be low, but make sure you grab the arm. <laughs> nice grab. <laughs> nice <laughs> All right. Yeah, nice. Foot. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, point and lift. Yeah. Inhale, up. Exhale, point and lift. One more, inhale. Exhale, point and lift. Sweep the foot back. Leg it off. Knee to chest. Kick towards the left. Lift the left arm. Hovering side plank with the foot straight. With the leg straight. Cross your ankles. Plank pose. Slow the low down. This time, interlacing your fingers behind you. Squeeze your ankles, squeeze your wrists, and lift, and give me a big smile. Lift your head so much that I can see your face and like you. Higher, higher. You have to come over the comments. You have to lift your head over the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Plank pose. Down <laughs> Left foot out behind you. 
try to grab of your right foot to have it easier to balance. Catching the left foot with the right hand, a half tiger pose. Full tiger pose would be having the arm overhead and catching the foot like this. You could give that a try if you want to. That was a joke. That was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Grab your ankle with one or with two hands, and then pistol squat, switching the ankle hold on to the right ankle. Do the hands. Standing split. We're going. We're going for broke. We're going for deep fry. Okay. One more. Uh, and this time, hands behind you. Let's see. Uh, oh, we're on the last round, sorry. Instead of going to the butt, we go to the knees. Feet together, knees apart. Tap your hips under, tuck your hips under. And lean back. So you're going, you're going here. If you want to keep your hand here, you can do that. You can stay on your fingertips. Some people might be able to go down to the elbows without hurting the lower back. I'm not one of those people. I rather hold on to my torso, literally, and just lean back here. Get a really nice front of the hip stretch. If you ever do this pose at home for a long time. I really like placing something under my ankles and have a wall behind me so that I kind of snuggle down, get a next neck stretch as well, leaning towards the wall. I really like this one for my hips. And from here, hands out in front of you, take a back of and then pop it up to your feet. Right. Lean halfway up. Exhale, forward. All the way up, inhale. And exhale, final, final, final round. Last round, okay? Left ankle with the right foot. Side stretch. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, okay. Other side? I'm, I think you... I tried to name it, but I think I missed one. Never mind. All right. Back to center. Uh, hands in front of the No, we're halfway through. Sorry, this is not the last one. This is the second one. Sorry. Okay, so inhale. <laughs> exhale. Hover. Inhale up. Exhale. Hover. Wait. Did I do one? This was. Oh, no, we're, we did four rounds, right? Right side, left side, right side, left side. Yes, we did equal sides. We did equal, okay, so fine, fine, yeah. fine. Okay, 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 good, good, good. So right foot, uh, left to inner thigh, sorry about that. Yeah, I messed, I messed up, my bad. Yeah, so this is, the, this is the final round on the right side, sorry, okay. Right uh, arm to right knee, side stretch. And then switching side. Back to center, arms up, leg down, but hover the foot. Exhale into the fold and then lift your right leg. Two more, head up, straight. Exhale, fold and keep yourself in the fold. Final round, inhale, arms forward, exhale, grab onto your foot, your ankle or your knee and stay here, maybe even fold and touch your forehead to your chin. Old school yoga style, three, two, one. Right leg out behind you, bend the knee. Try to catch the right ankle with your left hand this time, holding the balance. If you want to try to grab both hands into the ankle, you can do that too, if you want to try. Three, two, one. Touch the knee to your ankle, stepping back to a twisting, some stretching. Present. 
back knee down, grab your right foot with your left hand. If you want to try something new this time, either do one of the ones that we did before, or slide the left foot out with kind of a ceiling split here. So hold on to the back foot and you slide the other foot. Yeah. Nice. I just realized that the, the camera is is the mirroring to your the, the camera is flipping you. That's why I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> That's it. That's why it's so Oh yeah, okay. That is my left on that. It's my right. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. You were, saying, you were saying things and I was looking, I was like, that's his left, but I'm doing my right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Back to this. Now, uh, I like the price. Fingertips down, holding static for five seconds. One, lift, lift, lift. Two, three, four, and sweet release. Three legged dog. Roll the knee to your chest. Same thing again. Either fallen triangle, hovering triangle, or if you want to grab your in the foot with your right hand, you go into great toes or just keeping the foot straight or going deeper. Your toes, whatever you want to try. Crossing your ankles. Right toe. Roll lower down. This one is hard, guys. But try to cross the ankles. Grab your right hand to your left foot, your left hand to your right foot. And do a cross legged goal pose. If you're lifting high, try to hold on to your ankles and lift. Livia, give me a big smile. <laughs> Everybody, give Livia a, a big heart for her efforts. <laughs> Plank pose. Down dog. Right leg, right leg out behind you. Slowly flipping over, flipping over through a side plank into a flip dog. So it's a side plank with a back bend. Nice. Yeah, place the foot behind and open the chest. That's it. From here, knee to face, right ankle into standing split, left leg out behind you. If you want to try this last round, Pistol squat with the, legs, with the arms up. So kick your left leg out in front of you. And then you're not touching from left oh, leg out. Two more. Two more. <laughs> right. And on the last round, catch your left ankle with your right hand and catch your right ankle with your left hand. Give that a try. Try it on for size. And from here, hero pose, on your knees, sit down, relax. We were, we were supposed to do another round of four, but we did this one twice instead. I hope you don't mind. Now it's time for the final, the sixth round. So we did five rounds, now it's time for the left side and then some nice stretching and mm -hmm. pop, pop up back to your feet. Inhale, back to back. And exhale, hold. Rolling all the way up. Left foot, inner thigh, side stretch. And then switching side. Cover the left foot, and then arms back, left foot forward. Inhale up, exhale foot forward. Inhale up, and you can grab the ankle, the foot, or whatever you can grab, and stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Leg, leg, left leg up behind you, 
Then you use the left ankle with the right hand balance. Maybe try to grab with both hands. If you want to. That's why we do this progressively so that you don't have to do the next one and the next one and the next one. You can just do the last one and feel no shame and no one will ever be able to tell. Knee to ankle, stepping back, twisting the side to the high lunge, right hand in the left pocket. Knee down, left your foot. So either blister or elbow or fake splits. And from here, half splits, finger pit, inhale, and exhale with the foot point five, four, three, two, one, three legged dog. Lift the right knee to the chest, move into a side plank, grab onto your foot and hold here, or hold the foot and the place of the down. Or if you want to try, go for a deeper variation. Rare, we do on the other side. Cross the ankles, side plank, back to plank. <laughs> Lower down. <laughs> and grab onto your feet. E up, E up, E up. Everybody is lift, the lift the chest, lift the chest. Lift, 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 lift. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Back to the cross legged dog. Take a breath. Left leg out behind you, open the hips and fall back until your left foot touches the ground. Side plank with a back bend. Standing splits, left foot front, right foot all back. So either one of the pistols. If you want to try without touching the ground at all, do that three times. Last round, maybe catch all your ankles and bounce. Everybody, let's meet on all fours. You guys look well fried, very good. <laughs> <laughs> We All suck right. at this. <laughs> <laughs> left knee forward. No, let's, sorry, left knee for the butt. Let's take the butt. Get the front of the ankle. Hold on to the right ankle on your right foot just for a second. Just hold on to your leg. It doesn't have to be straight. Just hold it there. Take a breath. If you, if you feel that you're stuck at it, that's actually my intention because I want to motivate you, but I also want to encourage you. I want to give you a reality check because you are world-class athletes fighting other people. But the real challenge is really fighting your own limitations because you, you can be your worst enemy because you're so self-critical, right? You're not critical of your opponent. You beat your opponent, but you only beat them by as much as you need. But beating yourself takes everyday effort and a lot of dedication and, and self-control. So that's why I'm trying to give you a reality check that, damn, even if I'm really good at the future, I still have so much to work on. And I hope in a roundabout way that should be motivated, right? Yep. Sure. Right, Definitely. right leg out behind you, without touching the ground, kind of wiggle into a hip stretch. So you should have some buoyancy here and kind of be strong. And don't move from there, just place your hands down and kind of drop down. So I don't want you to kind of grab the foot and do this. I want you to wiggle into it like this. And then from there, just drop down and let your legs be exactly where they are. Don't, don't force or tweak them so much. 
let's shut up and uh, breathe for 30 seconds. One more breath. Now sit down in your butt and kind of push it over. So we're here and then we kind of go like this until we find a, a good spot. We have been working the hips and legs a lot and we have been working the lower back a lot. So this, is a, this can be a really nice lower back stretch if you do it right. So if you're really stiff, then you can just sit here. But if you want, take your, so the left knee is back. So left arm reaches over, try to touch the outside of your foot. If you can't reach your foot, you have to work your, your it means you're more to be morally and spiritually <laughs> impure and you have to cleanse yourself with a vegan diet. Just kidding. <laughs> so. Oh, we can right, we can't see your legs. With, oh, you can't see your legs, sorry. So yeah. left, left hand to right foot like this. Uh, like, right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram really made it confusing by mirroring it. <laughs> this is more more brain training than it is physical training. <laughs> nice. And sit back up, cross your ankles under the legs and the left foot. So I designed this class to be kind of if the first round is accessible to everybody, if you modify it, modify it a little bit. And then I want to take it from like white belt, purple belt to black belt level in one class so that you see that there is a spectrum. And there definitely is a progress. You're not supposed to nail this class at the first try. This is more kind of like a benchmark class that you can do for years. And anything you suck at today is going to be easy two, three years down the line, just like with Jiu-Jitsu. It has so much potential to, to improve, improve over time. So yeah. I hope that I didn't discourage you or anybody else from trying. You're not supposed to to kind of get it. You have, you have to do it again and again and again and again and drill it, drill it, drill it. To make it easier. When I started, I had to lay down on the ground just to put on socks. My back was so blown out. It took me three, four years just to be able to do the basic stuff. But now I can do the advanced stuff without breaking a sweat because I did it for so many, so many times. And now it's not even effort anymore. Left leg back, wiggle it to a pin. Kind of find that use the sweet spot where everything hurts at the same time and then lower down. A little trick I use, I usually make fists with both hands. I stack the fists on top of each other and then I rest my forehead on top of the wrist or on the fists. And then I don't have to hang with my neck. I really like that from my shoulder to neck. <clears throat> Two more breaths. And then sit down on your right butt. And without moving so much, just turn around. Get your right foot, get your right foot in, in your thigh, and then catch your left foot in your right hand, or just fold over wherever you are. For me personally, this is a deep uh, quadratus lumborum, a QL stretch on the right side. So for me, this is kind of the, yeah. one of the few poses that I have access to really stretch my deep lower back. Uh, 
exercise. And now spread the time, spread your legs open, and maybe not fold forward, but kind of make sure that you that you uh, untouch, stick your butt out behind you, and do some super. The, I call this the world's easiest push-up because you feel. Imagine being so strong in your arms that push-ups were this easy, right? So you, only, you don't go all the way down. You kind of go 60%. And then I really like to do down dog hands here. So I kind of stop myself from going deeper. And then I go side to side instead. So instead of going just up and down, I go side to side. And that way I get both hamstrings and inner thighs without uh, my lower back uh, taking any strain. <clears throat> One more time from side to side. And then lower down for a one minute shavasana. Just relax your arms and legs and your whole body. Just feel the energy buzzing from the glass. Slowly start moving your fingers and toes, your wrists and ankles. And then when you're ready, walk your wall a couple of times. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was right. awesome. It was very hard. Yeah, that was, that was so, tough. Uh, I, th I think it was really challenging with, uh, uh, one, the camera being mirrored, and two, uh, every time you guys laughed or talked, it sounded like you smoked a pack a day because the microphone was kind of off. <laughs> so I, I didn't really hear the, the feedback uh, during class. Usually I can uh, adjust and uh, kind of help you more, but uh, it, the uh, technology yeah. was a challenge. But uh, how did you uh, how did you experience this? Of course, it was super hard. Uh, I wanted to to take you from like a medium all the way through a, a really advanced class. But it seemed it seemed to me like you could do most of the. Oh, we're finished in twenty five seconds. We don't really have time to talk. Can I call you back uh, and let let's talk a little bit about it? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> we're back. Yeah. So give me give me honest uh, uh, your honest experience of of doing a, a super short and effective like a half hour full on uh, yoga class without much warm up or cool down. But how did you experience this in your bodies? Yeah, it was good. I mean, as I think you were saying, we we kind of could sort of do the movements. Like that's probably because we've been following your your program, so we kind of had a a base level of the movements, but we're not very advanced yes yeah, so, um, so they're all they were all a struggle yeah. uh, at least they, they were hard but that's kind of i mean that's that's how i like you know i like um, exercise to be to be difficult so i really enjoyed that and it, yeah it was like a good mix of um like that required a bit of strength uh flexibility and proprioception mm -hmm. um like a, a and each each exercise kind of challenged a different um, yeah. part of that I found which was which was really good so. I feel like um definitely could do it a little bit better even by the fourth round like so it's it's just getting used to the move practice yeah. and getting used yeah. to like the motor control you know just knowing the pattern and then actually trying to improve yeah some of those we hadn't done on your, some of those we had done from your yeah. program and some of them were new to us but they were kind of based off positions we'd worked so mm. I could see the the um the linkage there yeah. And uh, comp compare this class to uh, one uh, jiu-jitsu sparring and two lifting weights. How is this really different from jiu-jitsu sparring? How is this really different from lifting weights? And how is it similar? Mm. Uh, okay, so from uh, I don't really lift weights, so Liv can answer that. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, from jiu-jitsu sparring, it's it's definitely less like cardio intense. Like as in, like I'm not like. <sighs> 
Like yeah. I'm not like breathing like very heavy from it. Mm. Uh, I can feel like I've I've worked my range. Um, I feel like I mean the similarities would be trying to maybe control your breath though, uh, in a different way, but yeah. still like not holding your breath and same with jujitsu, I guess. Yeah, I'd say the. I mean, the yoga definitely has a greater uh, mobility. I mean, jujitsu. There's sometimes, yeah, sometimes you, re you require mobility to execute a move, but it's usually a lot of the time that's very brief. Mm. Um, and, and the mobility helps f for jujitsu, but uh, in your in, in this, we're spending a longer time in those kind of. Um, so, so I feel like I've had like a. I feel like I've been stretched more though, so than I would in a jiu-jitsu yeah. roll unless i'm rolling with someone who stacks me for, for, for 10 minutes or yeah, something okay. when you say that i i come to think about when I, when i see a really old girl or guy who's been doing jiu-jitsu for 20 30 years it's kind of they only do they they stay within this small because yeah. you're so you're so strong here you're not really strong out here it's yeah. you, you very yeah. rarely do kung fu in jiu-jitsu it's it's most like kind of angling and using the core strength like this and if you do this for 30 years you're gonna be this outside the mat too right so that's why i'm trying yeah. to do all the all the crazy extended stuff so that you, you get to stretch that out but also get strong in these super weird positions right because mm -hmm. when, when you're sparring someone good they are gonna put you in really weird positions right yeah. <laughs> you have no yeah. choice and then you better be strong there you can't just stay in your because this is going to be your comfort zone like so you really have to go into the super weird stuff too right that's, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So rolling, so rolling someone better than you is more similar to yoga than <laughs> rolling someone who's better than. You. <laughs> <laughs> I do more daily than the lucky. What's that? I said when we roll, I pretty much do yoga, and he's doing jujitsu. <laughs> but how how enjoyable uh, did you enjoy it? Uh, even though it was kind of torturing. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose. Uh, I think that I've always had that kind of mindset with exercise that if you don't find it challenging, it's, it's like, you know, going for a run for me, I don't really enjoy running. <laughs> I tried to do a little bit since this uh, lockdown, but I kind of gave up on it. But to me, that's like, it's not really the only check. The only challenge in running is just like my fitness as in like I'm tired mm -hmm. and I've got to keep pushing, but it's not yeah. like challenging to do a movement or um, whereas I like having, you know, like, trying to execute the, you know, the even if it's just you know, having the right posture in, in the pose or whatever like mm -hmm. which which I clearly didn't but at least trying to do that um, is, is a challenge a mental challenge as well as a physical one so. mm. it's good to just be really aware of your body again like I guess in combat sports like you have to control yourself but you're reacting to someone else a lot whereas um, I think with yoga you you're just in control of yourself and you can you know, take it as far as you want as well. Mm. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Yeah, and sometimes the the solution to something being really awkward and not fun in the beginning can be the, like the solution can be so simple that you're gonna laugh at yourself for the rest of your life yeah. for not seeing it. For example, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I really enjoy running because of one detail. I have a I have a, a belt, I have a rubber band, and I have a dog in front. And when the dog pulls me up hills, and they, <laughs> the dog is so happy for being out running in the forest, I can't help but smile and run along, right? So the, the dog is actually doing the running. I'm just tagging along. And that changed, for me at least, that changed running from being a, a chore to being something super enjoyable. Uh, yeah. So, And I think everybody, if you give yoga a chance for more than one, two, three sessions, if you give it a month or two months, then you're suddenly probably gonna switch and you're like, wow, this doesn't take time. This gives me so much time because the rest of the day just flips upside down and become really enjoyable instead of being constant suffering. So that's that's yeah. why I, I love my work and that's why I do what I do because it happened for me and I've seen it happen over and over again. And it's not hard, it takes 20, 30 minutes a day. And if you do that consistently, you're gonna change your shoulders, you're gonna change your posture, you're gonna sleep better. You're gonna move better. You're gonna enjoy jujitsu more. You're gonna be able to train for much longer. You have like a whole list of benefits that comes with a regular practice. Yeah. Absolutely, That's yeah. So true. <laughs> You're gonna have to make time for it when jujitsu comes back, because a lot of the time it's just it is only thirty minutes, you know, and it's a bit of an excuse, like oh, I don't have time. I'm too tired. And all this stuff. Mm. So, mm. yeah. That's yeah, been good. Been enjoying, enjoying it actually. So. 
as as much as I want to get back to training, I've been enjoying. <laughs> yeah, training. yeah, of course, yes. We want to kill each other. We want to kill each other. I hope I got. Uh, I'm really happy that I got to kill you a little bit today. That was really enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Lucky moans a lot. When we listen to your online thing, my favorite thing is when you. Yeah, I just see the guy like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, bitch and don't, moan. "Don't bitch and moan." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's easy to do. When you're fighting someone else, you have, you have the pressure on from someone else to kind of uh, toughen you up. Yeah. But when it's you, you kind of want to take the easy route always, right? That's that's how I am, at least. And that's why it's, that's why that's why people need me to uh, tell them they're whiny bitches and stop whining and, <laughs> and put in the, the work. I'm the same. I can't really. I'm not. I don't have the self dedication to to just do my own thing. I need someone else to tell me what to do. So I take other people's classes both to learn and just to be able to to do it too. So. So that's how it is. If anybody of you watching uh, wanna try it, Blackland, you can post. Uh, uh, you have your affiliate. You can you can post uh, your discount code, and people can use that if they wanna sign up, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll put I'll put that on my Instagram story. So just follow the link. Awesome. Uh, there has been like fifteen hundred people who signed up during lockdown because for the first time in, oh, wow. in years in years people have actually time to do stuff so i'm super happy that people get to try this that's, and not just uh, suffer suffer the netflix uh, pit <laughs> Very yeah, good. That's right. really great. thank you so so much right. i hope we get to do this another time yeah thank you so much thank you Cheers. Hopefully next, we'll time, be next time we do some uh, next time we can do some yin and stretching you might even do it with my wife and she will take good care of you instead of kill you okay all right awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 Take care. Bye.